Can't be those. So John by Steve Parry. Steve, uh, a comfortable success in the end. What was your take on the game? Uh, yeah, in the end, pretty comfortable. But um, we had a real tough first half. They gave us a real good game and uh, looked like it was going to be really tight through and through. But we cleaned up a few errors and on our penalty count in that second half. And uh, we did put on a couple of good tries and did end up comfortable. But we did let in a couple of slack ones at the end there, which uh, we're not happy with. Yeah, it was a really positive start to, to get that early try. Did, did, was there a sense of almost overconfidence? Did we did the lads switch off a bit? Or? Yeah, you know, it is nice to get the early score, but sometimes it can be a bit counterproductive because you expect to score again and um, we sort of just switch off a little bit. But, you know, we did get back to task after the long spell and uh, under a lot of pressure. And once we got our heads on there, you know, we performed really well. Yeah, I think the, the crucial point of the game, Phil's try right on the stroke at half time, um, gave the boys, you know, coming in and, and to half time a bit of um, spirit and on, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Um, we were under pressure, you know, we were getting attacked again on our line, and Phil came up with a great interception to put us in the lead, if I'm totally honest. I don't think we deserved to win at half time in the lead. They had the majority of the ball, majority of the possession and uh, territory, but you know, <laughs> Phil pulled us, uh, pulled us one back, and from there on we kicked on. Then. What did Lee say at half time to the lads? Uh, Lee's a pretty calm guy. Uh, you know, we talked about technically we needed to show some stuff up, needed to cut down massively on the penalty count, but you know, just competing set for set and staying in our arm wrestle, and hopefully we'd outlast them and. Fair play with the attacking power we got. You know, we we can go toe to toe with any side. It's just uh, not giving them giving them too much ball. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, I mean, you've had quite a since the season finished last season. You've won a, a European Championship with Wales. What has that done to confidence levels? I mean, not just yourself as well. The the, the other Welsh lads in the squad. Yeah, it was brilliant. Cracking experience. You know, it's a uh, once in a lifetime thing, and it's really really good to be involved in. You learn a lot from being around other experienced players who played Super League and that. And you know, yeah, confidence-wise, it does give you that boost because you know you've had a good, successful campaign with your country, won a bit of silverware, and you know you hope to bring that back and sort of try and pass that confidence on to the whole team. Are you uh, a kind of? I mean, you're very vocal often on the pitch. Are you, do you set yourself targets? I mean, you've had a, a season last year, you know, really impressive. Have you have you set yourself targets, individual ones? Um, this year? Yeah, slightly. You know, I, I want to improve on where I was last year after coming back from injury. I want to, you know, keep going in that right direction. But uh, personally, I just want to try and, uh, you know, help the team as much as I can to get get us in the positions to win the game. And with you know the new signings we've made and with the firepower we got, you know, I can get the boys in the right positions at hooker. You know, the halves will tear teams apart. They're uh, brilliant. Well, all three of them are real good. Uh, Good players.